It's not every day that students get to have tangible interaction with outer space. This isn't just a simulation, this is actually your experiment running on the International Space Station. Tell me that's not the coolest student project you've heard of. Since the European AstroPi Challenge launched, over 54,000 young people from 26 countries have taken part in Mission Space Lab and Mission Zero. The Raspberry Pi Foundation is so proud to work in collaboration with the European Space Agency. We have two ways of getting involved. Mission Zero is our beginner project and Mission Space Lab allows young people to work in teams to design a scientific experiment that runs on board the International Space Station. We're in the process of sending two of the latest model of the Raspberry Pi computer up to the International Space Station. The Raspberry Pi computers are housed in aluminium cases, flight cases, and we call these the Astro Pies. What's particularly interesting about this is the very, very unusual and specific nature of the Astro Pi. Going to the space station is brilliant. The Astro Pi case had to be very strong, has to be able to help the computers inside lose heat in a zero gravity environment. And uh, we chose aluminium, a particular grade of aluminium, because it can be machined um, very easily. It conducts heat very, very efficiently. We devised four protective legs, and these are manufactured from a material called titanium. Titan is the god of metals, extremely lightweight and extremely strong. With the new hardware, we've got the Raspberry Pi high quality camera built in, which enables us to use high quality C and CS mount lenses, which is going to be particularly useful for the Earth observation experiments. So they'll be able to take photos of the Earth and see it in all its wonderful, beautiful colours. You film the hardware and uh, see how cool it looks, and software is the, is the invisible aspect of it. We use a custom version of the Raspberry Pi OS, we call it the Flight OS. Uh, these include running the student experiments and also collecting their data and offloading them to Earth. We can't wait to see what experiments young people come up with. There are a host of new sensors to help them investigate life in space and there's now a machine learning accelerator which will allow the young people to analyse their data and their images while their code is running in space. It's a completely unique, unforgettable experience and best of all, absolutely free to take part in. There's never been a better time to take part in the European AstroPi Challenge.